islands. <laughs> so we'll be asking you some questions yep. to kind of give a direction to our new partners. Uh -huh. yep. um, and since you are our most favorite partner, <laughs> just don't tell the others. That's all right. I won't tell <laughs> so tell us about yourself and your home life, um, yep. hobbies. Yep, yep, sure. Um, so I've sort of been in, I guess, if we if we talk about the um, work life, I've been in uh, accounting business services probably for eight years now. Um, I've been in I've changed jobs a few times, as as um, as is pretty common uh, these days. Um, now it's my personal life. I'm married, got a couple of dogs, um, no kids yet. Um, love my sport, love soccer, love footy, love having a beer also, and love love a chat as well. So this works well. Um, so yeah, that that's me. I've been with the Codex for a bit over a year now. So. Loving it, um, lots of challenges, um, but you know, on the whole, it's uh, yeah, it's been a great, great experience for me. Cool. So, how did you hear about a Codex, and what made you decide to join? Yeah, so I was um, yeah looking for some some direction um, with my career. So I'd, I'd been with my new employer sort of almost two years. Um, uh, essentially creating a new accounting business inside a financial uh, existing uh, well-established financial planning practice mm -hmm. um, that was a lot more challenging um, that, than I thought it was going to be um, particularly in the area of having to service clients but obviously have that the infrastructure um, in place as well to to provide um, that service so Doing both was, was very challenging. Um, so I think I, I came across um, the Codex, I think it was just a, a LinkedIn or, or something like that. And uh, I, I ended up you know, investigating further and went to the website and really wanted to, to find out a bit more because a lot of what was on the website and the content out there really aligned with, with the direction that I wanted to take my business. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of what led me to the Codex in, in the first place. So were you working full-time at another firm? And I was, yeah, I was full-time as an employee, uh, as an accountant. I, I was um, also undertook some study um, to become a financial planner in that time as well. So I was giving financial advice as well. So I was um, kind of a dual role, but probably 80, 90% um, accounting, accounting work, so yeah. How did you transition from working full-time at another firm and then full-time to full-time Codex? Did you start as a part-time a Codex partner transitioning to full-time? What's the journey? Yeah, so I went um, basically full-time yeah, out the gate. Um, now, I was lucky in the sense that I built up a bit of a client base um, with, with the financial planning practice and I was lucky enough to be able to acquire those clients and bring them across with me. Um, it was quite a, it was a small book, um, only 30, Five to forty thousand of, of revenue in it, um, and a lot of individual tax returns. So, not really the what the, the client base, not the optimal client base, but it was it was sort of sort of some cash flow to start with. So, um, yeah, I had a little bit of a leg up there in the sense that I could basically it, it was still a big jump off of salary, but you know it was a it was a start. It wasn't starting from scratch. So. So Tom, if you are to give an advice as to, like for example, someone like you who's married, mm -hmm. and you know, what, what sort of sa savings range should they have in the bank before they can transition from like a part-time codex yep. to like a full-time codex partner? I mean, look, that's very much dependent on like lifestyle and like, you know, um, yeah, individual situations. So it's hard to, to say 
um, on that basis. I mean, I was lucky that my wife was working full time also. So, you know, I had a little bit of a buffer there. Um, so, I mean, that's to take into account as well as, I mean, you, you probably want maybe at least, you know, five to 10 of, of savings just to cover you, you know, a couple of months um, salary. Um, because, I mean, the, the, the opportunity is out there. So if you work hard enough, you, you will be fine. So, um, but at the same time, that's not a bad idea. If you, if you really want to ease into it as well, you could just um, do something part-time, do the codex stuff part-time and, and you know, transition out as, you, as you're getting more comfortable with the, with the model. So there's no um, right or wrong way to do it. Um, that's just the way I did it based upon circumstances. And you know, I really wanted to, to push hard and, and um, you know, really grow my business quickly. So that's why I went straight, straight full time into it. What are the pros and cons of being like a full time Codex partner since you jumped in in there as a full time partner? Yeah, look, I'd like to say it's all pros. No, it, <laughs> it is. It is mostly all good. Um, it is. I guess the, the the big one and the big challenge is that once you're once you're kind of running your own practice, like the buck buck stops with you. So you have to deal with you, you get to deal with obviously all the good stuff and you know. Um, if things go really well, but you know, there, there obviously is days where, you know, it's pretty challenging and you've got that challenging client that's doing your head in. Um, you, you have to deal with it and you have to deal with it professionally. So, um, and you know, if they need that tax return lodge quickly or those management reports for the board meeting next week, you know, you, you might have that late night just to, just to keep up with it. But you know, there is the, you're not completely isolated, so there is that support. So if you if you do need support, the guys are always here for a chat um, for those tough times as well, which is when you when you need it the most. Cool. As an aquatics partner, Tom, what services do you offer? Yeah, so I offer your sort of your straight um, compliance uh, compliance work, so the tax tax side of things for business, uh, small business, uh, and also at individual level. Um, and maybe slightly unique to some of the other guys, obviously have um, some financial advisory qualifications as well, as well as a background um, in the financial markets a little bit. So um, I do offer some services around uh, wealth creation as well, which ties in nicely um, with with the uh, with the tax side of things because everything has a tax implication and and back the other way everything has sort of a world creation implication as well so um, yeah cool so how did you grow your business and how has the codex helped you yeah so I I guess I grew my business a lot of there was a lot of um, organic growth through I guess just servicing your clients as well and that that tends to lead to to referrals and further work um, but you know probably a big thing I learned um, from a codex is the, the sales side and how important it is to, to nurture your sales pipeline um, because you know it's you can't just rely on referrals alone. And if you want to grow really quickly, you've, you've got to go hard on the sales side of things as well. Not just selling whatever, but you know, just getting out there and letting people know that um, these are the services that you can provide and how it's going to benefit them um, for their business or personally. So Tom, you have worked so hard and you can all see that. <laughs> That's why you are where you are now. But um, everyone wants to know how many hours you put in in a week. Yeah, so it does vary. Like I said before, you know, if some urgent work comes up, you could be putting in, you know, a 50, 60 hour week. Um, but, you know, you could have a week where you, let, you know, you feel like you know, just taking the foot off a little bit just to, just to re-energize and that could be, you know, maybe a 25, 30, 30 hour week. I mean, probably an example of um, last December, I decided I wanted to um, reno the backyard. So, um, you know, I had the opportunity to do that. Um, I'd worked hard leading up to um, and, you know, I spent 
spent a lot of time in the backyard doing that up. Obviously not a whole lot of work happened during that time. So you do have that flexibility to, to do those things from, from time to time. Um, but yeah, it's obviously a trade off between making money and uh, living a little, so yeah. Cool, so if you don't mind me asking Tom, like how many clients do you have like before you've actually achieved where you are now? Yeah, so it's it might almost be on like a, almost on a revenue basis rather than a client basis because mm -hmm. I did come in with like a lot of, a lot of clients but not like a, a whole lot of revenue if, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so I think, you know, a good, a good target for year one is probably, you know, around the, the $100,000 mark um, and that's a good base and I think, you know, just chatting with the other guys and how they've tracked along, you know, they generally, um, you know, you might hit 150 to 200 after that and 250, 300. That's kind of the, the progression as long as you're putting in the time and working hard. Um, you know, it's it's not complete. It's not unattainable. I think coming in, you, you think, oh, 100 grand's a big number, but if you do the right things um, and you're pretty diligent uh, with with doing the right things, um, you know, you 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 can do it. Um, so I guess the big thing for me is like the it's all a lot of it's mindset and probably a codex really empowers you to like believe that you can actually do it um, and once you start really seeing seeing some progress you, you kind of the belief starts to increase so and that translates to winning new clients because um, clients can smell the fear <laughs> in a in a client meeting so if they if they can sense that you're not 100 percent um, you know confident in your own abilities then then you're not going to win the work regardless of whether you're the, the best technician or whatever, um, you might have been the best person for that job, but it is, you got to, you've got to have, um, you got to demonstrate that confidence in, in the way you, you present yourself, so, yeah. Do you think there's a, like a secret formula of like, is it a mix of like how many clients plus the quality of clients or, I think, I think the secret formula is service your clients really well um, and probably early on it means you're probably going to over service them so it, it is a trade off between doing like too much or doing too little but I would just say early on service, service those clients really well. So Tom, you've already touched on some of the challenges that you've yep. encountered before but can you tell us more about the risks that you have to take? and the other challenges that you also encountered? Yeah, so I guess the, the biggest risk is obviously that, that it won't work out and you know, the loss of that financial security. So, you know, it's, it's easy to feel pretty comfortable when you're an employee and you're guaranteed a salary. But the big thing here is when it's your own business, it's not a guaranteed salary. You've got to work, you've got to work hard for it. Um, it's a, obviously it motivates you to, um, to, to get out there and, and, and sell some more. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one of the risks and I guess that, that is a challenge as, as well. Um, you know, back to um, you know, that belief that you can, that you can do it. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a big challenge. It, I'd say it's, it's as much, it's like a mental thing. Like a lot of people that come out um, and, and work for themselves, they, they do have the ability. Um, it's just having that belief um, that you can do it. Nice. So Tom, to close, if you were to give us three tips to success as yep. an Codex partner, what would they be? Um, so probably number one is, is just work hard. Um, Believe in yourself um, in terms of you're, you're better than what you think you are. Um, and uh, enjoy yourself as well. Um, don't, take it, don't take yourself too seriously. You've, you've got to enjoy life. So um, I think, you know, just by enjoying it, you know, it translates into, um, uh, you know, doing a good job and being enthusiastic around clients and which which turns into 
to more work and having more fun.